A hundred percent that was my own fault. Yeah, because like even if my opponent gets Coco on two energies, that's 130 damage times two, 260. That's perfectly fine. So I can even dead draw off of the Marnie and still be fine. This video is sponsored by the Pokemon TCG deck building website, PokemonCard.io. Are you looking for sealed product and singles? You can find it all on Channel Fireball. Please use my Teomon affiliate code when checking out to help support my content. Looking for PTGO codes? Photon Store has all the latest sets and promos instantly delivered to your email. You can use Teomon code when checking out for 5% off. If you're from Europe, Millipods Gaming has a wide array of sealed products, singles and more. You can use Teomon code when checking out for 5% off. Card Market is Europe's largest online marketplace for Pokemon cards. Whether you're looking for sealed product or singles, vintage or the latest sets, just follow the link in the description to find what you need. Want to show off your love for Tablemon? Check out my 2021 merch. These new hoodies and shirts are available on Amazon. Click on the link in the description to get your... Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video here at Tablemon. Um, I figured it would be cool to utilize um, some of the best performing decks from 50 keys, 50 decks. And that is Salamence VMAX. Salamence VMAX was able to get a win, which was really surprising, right? I don't think any, uh, any of us expected a full 5 points with Salamence VMAX and it was a big contribution to me qualifying. So I figured, why not use it again? Sonic Double does 40 damage to two of your opponent's Pokemon, and Max Wings does 240 damage, and this Pokemon can't use Max Wings during the next turn. However, that's not that big of a deal, I guess. Usually, Sonic's VMAX will be going down, or you're probably okay using a turn for Sonic Double, which is fine. Uh, we do play the Jirachi engine along with scoop up nets and the six second to help with extra damage and with the consistency of the deck. I will say that Selby was, uh, for the most part, useless, but I'm gonna keep the list as it as we played it for the 50 keys, 50 decks challenge. Uh, we have the Dene, Crobat, Eldegoss, Mew to protect the bench. We have Tapu Koko, Prism Star to help accelerate an energy for a potential setup of Max Wing out of the blue. And then we have our Research, our Marnies, our Boss, and we also have the Telescopic side to help us increase the damage to the bench. Now. Changes I would make, I would take out the Celebi, I would take out one telescopic side, and I would probably just maximize the Jirachi to maximize the consistency of the deck, or at least add a third one and potentially add a second Chaotic Swell just to help with the consistency of the deck overall. But let's jump into a ladder and see if we can get some good wins with Silence VMAX in the ladder as we did for the keys, which was really, really interesting. All right. So I will go ahead and call the coin flip and I will win it. So I think I do want to go first so I can potentially salvage its elements and then start applying pressure the turn after. Um, no energy attachment is not ideal of course but it is what it is. We do only play 8 attachable energies on turn 1 so it is understandable. Um. I don't really think I'm just gonna pass. Like I could have quick bolt, I could have thinned, I could have crow at it to try and get an energy, but I think I'll be okay. No. Well I don't think I'll be okay. Like it's ideal but not a hundred percent necessary. Now six second and Pokecom, this might be a turn at this. Uh, we do see a Golbat, so it might be a turn to scroll at, which I have seen once or twice. Uh but no. It's actually the no supporter Golurk deck, which is um, interesting to say the least. Um, should be pretty fun to watch in action. However, I'm assuming like bench damage and bench disruption will be pretty um, impactful right here. So my opponent is able to draw two extra cards off of the exciting stage. All right. All righty, so 90 HP, 50 HP. Okay, so if I get the VMAX, I could actually KO the Subat. That would be pretty nice. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick this guy up. I don't know the HP of this guy. Just gonna do this and then 
grab you, we'll grab a Jirachi, and we'll discard you, and we shall establish the Coco, right? Because why not? And then we're just gonna straight up um, research for seven. All right. We took it an energy, we took it a VMAX, that's all we want pretty much. So, the question is who do I target? I imagine I should target the active, definitely the Subat, right? But who else? Could be the active, could be the Golet. It's only 40, 50, yeah, no. You know what? I'm not actually gonna threaten this six again. As a potential KO next turn. Though there is merit to just going after the Cricket Tune because that's unhealable damage, whereas a single um, scoop of net removes that damage from play, right? But it does apply pressure uh, in order for my opponent to have the scoop of net. So, um, Fist of Antiquity does two shot my Salmon's VMAX, so that is important to take note of. I wish they had flipped heads right there. <clears throat> All right. All righty. Okay, so now we see Ori Corio. Twin energy is now gone as well for a Subat. I can't kill that Subat yet again. I can't get a two price turn actually. Would be very, very nice. This guy has 140 HP, so my opponent would need a switching card to actually damage me this turn, uh, but no no chance right there, or no energy. No retreat cost, sorry. Alright, so I'm gonna take two prizes this turn, which I'm very happy about, obviously. <clears throat> and they could even play the boss on the golet. I don't see anything wrong with that, because then it's one less card that my opponent will draw with the exciting stage. And I do get double prizes here, so that's pretty nice. And this puts pressure, like, there's a twin gone. Uh, my opponent can and will probably, like, pressure me, but that's alright. Maybe now I regret the boss. Maybe I should have saved the boss to just KO the Cricket Tune V next turn. Probably would have been a better call. So I could just win in uh, the next turn. I just, I really wanted him to draw less cards, I guess. All right, now I see double Suba. Yeah, so I made them draw one less card overall, which you never know, right? You never know when one card might be the difference between winning or even losing, right? You never know. All right, so there's 160 damage, not the biggest of deals. Um, so I do have knockout here on the active. I don't want to rely on uh, damaging the bench, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and Barney here. I'll take the knockout on the active and then hopefully I can go boss triple KO on a Krigatoon afterwards. That's gonna be the plan, I guess. So let's do this and let's go ahead and thin the Celebi. Well, let's go on ahead and did a change right here. Don't see any reason why I wouldn't. Looking for that VMAX. Um, this does give me a KO on a Subat, but I don't think that's necessary. I think this is better to try and like find the boss or even Eldegoss, right? But Really sucks that I haven't been able to find another VMAX. That might, if I get stamped or something, that might actually be a big issue. Well, there's the boss. So now I, know I just need the VMAX. So I just need a Pokecom. That's all I need. That is actually all I need a Pokecom, and we are good to go. Hoping, I assume, since that deck doesn't play any supporters, I assume my opponent will play, um, will play Stamps, right? Because they can't play Marnie. I wonder if you could play, like, 
Boss's Orders and Palpad in this. I wonder if you can play Boss's Orders and Palpad in this. Alright. No... No KO. Right? I mean, no... Um, you know what I mean. <laughs> Could also use the Super Cross Attack. Well, I'm not sure how that's useful. Alright, so... Pokecom? There we go. Oh, wait, no. That's not good enough. I'm missing the triple. I am missing the triple, in fact. Huh. I am still missing the triple. So... I guess I'll go ahead and get this guy back. And then I should just grab the Denny here. I have two VMAXs, I also have Crobat. I don't have any Quick Ball left. Yeah, I think that's the plan. Uh, this can go anywhere. And then, yeah, I think I'm going for it. Oh, I already attached, oh my gosh. <laughs> I needed a triple and, oh wow. That was a silly mistake. All right, so I did get that guy. I do get the VMAX. Uh, I, I did this absolutely horribly, not gonna lie. I did this absolutely horribly. Um, okay, you know what, I'm gonna Take it back. <laughs> I am actually going to take it back. That was very poorly executed on my part. Like, there's no excuse whatsoever to what I just did. No excuse whatsoever to what I just did. <laughs> All right. So I'm just gonna pass for now. Now all I need is any energy and I have access to Eldegoss, right? So the plan will be to go Pokecom this back, grab Eldegoss, get the boss, and then use Crobat to draw six cards and hopefully find any energy and win the game, right? That's the plan. That is the plan. Will it work? Will it not work? We shall see. <laughs> If I hadn't that attached, right, I could have used Crobat, and if I got a triple, it would have been game over. But, alas, I did not do that. Alright. Okay. So, I will do this for... Oh, the Eldegoss is priced. Oh, it's in the discard. Well, okay, so even more mistakes. <laughs> even more mistakes on my part. All right, so I need the last boss. Great. I need the last, last boss. And an energy off of this six card Crobat. Okay, so no boss. I can dig, however. Top five, nope. Nobody, nope. I don't two shot. Now I'm gonna lose the triples. Oh my gosh. I really messed this up. I really did. I messed this up really badly. Yeah, I really messed this up. Alright. I'm not gonna attack though. So if my opponent has some sort of great catcher, it's over. Uh, there's a combination of cards. Yeah, I really messed up. If I just used Sonic Double on the two Golbats, I would have been fine and I would have won this turn. Yeah, I, I've been playing really terribly. <laughs> no excuse. No excuse whatsoever. Yep, there's a great catcher on the Detene, and that's the game. That's 100% on me. I, I messed that up really badly. 
especially when assuming like not checking for the Eldegoss, that was a big, um, a big, big oversight on my part. Boss being in the bottom five cards ended up being um, hurtful. Playing that unnecessary boss uh, was also very dumb. Um, so yeah, poor play on my part. Poor play on my part. Poor Salamence. Poor, poor Salamence. Um, I would like to go first. Pretty cool deck though by my opponent in that previous game. Pretty cool deck, I would say. Um, okay, so no attachment from me. I have to start Seishin. I mean, <laughs> Seishin did Dene. All right, we're up against Lock Metal. So I'm gonna discard the Scoop Up Net for Salamence. And... Gonna go ahead and be risky, I guess. And discard the Research. And we shall establish another Salamence. And if I get a powerful into a Sounds V Max attached KO, that would allow me to get a KO. <laughs> I mean, it's something, I guess. Um, not the best, though. Not the best. Uh, I was hoping for a Marnie right there. Not quite, though. The damage reduction will be very annoying. The Zamazenta will be even more annoying. <laughs> The Zamazenta will be basically impossible for me to deal with, with no Phoebe in the deck. It's it's looking like it's gonna be two losses for poor Solomon's VMAX. <clears throat> looking like it's gonna be two losses for Solomon's VMAX right here. Alright, no GX. Alright, so there is a chance. If I get a Pokecom? Nope. Not quite. Right. <laughs> All right. So getting punished by it for discarding that research. Getting punished for discarding that research, unfortunately. Not much I could do upon it. Well, I guess I could have chosen not to discard it. That's true. But it is what it is. All right. And now with the metal goggles, I assume I can will grab for the little caramel metal. I will not be able to one shot it. Power plant goggles coating. Power plant goggles. Yep, no KO anymore. Yeah, I don't see how I win this game anymore. I do not see how I win this game anymore. Wake up, not that that matters. There's a research. Stellar Wish. There's the Pokecom. <laughs> One turn too late. Right? One turn too little too late. Alright. So we'll go ahead and switch. Attach and research. One turn too late. All right, so max wings, 30 damage short. Um, 80 minus 60, that's 20. So I can't even KO next turn with the Sonic Double because <laughs> I'll only deal 20 damage with the powerful. Assuming they use their GX attack this turn, right? Which why wouldn't you? Yeah, I just, I can't deal with a Zamazenta V. I simply cannot deal with a Zamazenta V at this stage. All right, I'm just gonna concede because there's no chance. Like I needed to dunk the look metal on turn two, otherwise um, that was like my only way to win. So, ooh, now we might be up against Picarum. <laughs> So a triple loss for Salamence VMAX. Pikachu coin, that's mine, but there's a Pikachu deck box. My opponent chooses to go second. So all in all, not great news. Not great news, that's for sure. All right. 
to ten, eh? That's less scary, I guess. Um, sure. Let's grab the V. All right, I priced two Vs to add to our misery. So I'm gonna go ahead and crow that. There is a chance I could get a knockout on a uh, tag team next turn. Wouldn't be bad. Just missing the VMAX, right? I'm literally just missing the VMAX, but I would need to top tag it. So a three out of 41 chance, that's not very good odds. I guess top taking the Daniel Quick World would also give me the possibility. And yeah, we do see a Cherish Ball. I think in season, in, in the first season of Players Cup 3, or rather in the first season of 50 keys, 50 decks, um, we did see Salmon's Max almost take down the peak ground deck, right? Almost. Okay, so I really need them to like majorly whiff here. The double stamp gone is very good news. The Crashing Hammer Head Flip is terrible news. I need them to whiff switch. Ooh, nice, they did whiff the switch. Okay, that's really good news. And the attacker just in general, which is, like I said, really good. All right, so hopefully I'll be able to pressure with the VMAX, right? That's the ideal situation here. All right, looks like I will be able to, perfect. And I have, now I have the boss plus the triple pressure on whatever tag team they end up powering up. So that's potentially really good. Okay, so who do I damage the two the tennis, right? My win condition could also end up being like, KO Bolton, snipe the two the tennis. There is that possibility as well. Average, average. There's the Pikram, there's the thing, the speed. <laughs> There's the switch, and there's the electrify. Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> Goodbye, peak round. Yeah, I. This feels very winnable now. <laughs> this feels very winnable. Because the next turn, my opponent shouldn't be able to KO me, and then I do the double snipe, and then I can do another double snipe and hopefully win the game that way, right? So pretty ironic that we beat Pikram. I definitely lost a Golurk match on on my own doing, right? One hundred percent that was like my own fault. One hundred percent that was my own fault. Yeah, because like even if my opponent gets Coco on two energies, that's one hundred thirty damage times two, two hundred sixty. That's perfectly fine. So I can even dead draw off of the Marnie and still be fine. I know it's exactly what happens. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly what happens. I dead draw off of the Marty. I wish this was a Drachi now. Yeah, I'm not taking a KO this turn. Oh, they just go for the Electrify. Okay. I mean, that makes sense. For sure. Stupid Marty, I hate you. Ugh. Dude, stupid Marty, man. All right. Well, at least that can maybe get me energy. I'll keep a Pokemon for Pokecom outs. I need the VMAX, dude. I just need the VMAX. Well, no, actually, no. I need more than the VMAX. I need the VMAX and a uh, thingy. Ah. <sighs> So close. stupid Marnie, dude, and like pretty much all of my supports are in the bottom of the deck too. Uh, <laughs> and I top deck that energy into an energy whiff. What the heck, man? What the actual heck? I don't know why I benched that. Now they're gonna go boss, kill the Salamence, and it's gonna be game over. Uh, there's a boss in the discard pile. They're gonna grab not Eldegoss. I mean, unless it's priced, that's a mistake. They get it off the Crobat. Very nice. All right. So maybe I was too hopeful for Salamence. I tried though. I generally tried. 
but Marty was my undoing, as it usually is. Yeah. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this Salamence VMAX showcase. Maybe it's not as good as uh, I thought it could be. And 50 keys, 50, 50 decks when we showcased it ended up being um, one of those like unicorn decks, right? <laughs> Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next video.